Hi, I'm Pat and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a ceramic coating on the Ford Explorer Sport Track using Armor Shield 9 by Avalon King. If you're new to the channel, please click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I often post BMW i8 content, but it's under wraps. And that's because we previously did the paint correction on the Ford Explorer Sport Track. Now I first learned about Avalon King from Normal Guy Supercar, so check his channel out. He also has a discount code in order to help you acquire this product for a significant discount. I also learned that, let's say if you want to buy one bottle, when you go to check out, it's going to say, are you sure you don't want to add another bottle for another discount? Well, I decided to get three, because I have three vehicles, but we're going to start on the Ford Explorer Sport Track today, and then hopefully be able to get the other vehicles done. So here I have my 30 millimeter bottle of Avalon King Armor Shield 9, and before I put this on the vehicle, I first need to prep it. So I have some isopropyl alcohol here, I put it into a spray bottle. So the next step will be to go ahead and spray the vehicle down, making sure to use a clean microfiber cloth in order to get any contamination off of the paint. Now in my previous video, the link in the description below is the paint correction on this vehicle. So I've already done the paint correction and I've already touched up some areas where there were paint chips on the vehicle. Now that we've gone ahead and wiped down the entire vehicle with the isopropyl alcohol, it's time to start with the ceramic coating process. What comes in this kit, of course, we got the Armor Shield 9, we have the applicator block, we have applicator pads or cloths, and there are many of them here. So if you get started and you have to continue later on, there's multiples here, which is great. It comes with gloves, and I'm going to use my own gloves because these are a little bit big for my small hands. And of course, a microfiber towel in order to wipe the product off. And of course, instructions on how to apply the ceramic coating. These instructions are terrific. There's six steps here, and of course it says the preparation over here, which is wash, clay bar, polish, and an IPA wipe, which we've already done. We can then go ahead and use the small black cloth wrapped around that sponge block, and then we apply some spots to that cloth. Then we wipe a thin layer on the vehicle using a crosshatch method, and we let the coating sit on the vehicle before we wipe it off, and it depends on the temperature. Here in my garage, it's about 65 degrees, so about two minutes. And depending on your temperature, you want to wait longer or shorter. And then once we're done, we just buff it off and the entire vehicle is protected. So let's get started. So finally, instead of ruining an applicator, I decided to use a lint-free cloth here and then go inside the wheel wells. And now Rebecca is using that same material in order to go ahead and polish off the ceramic coating inside, inside the wheel wells. And <laughs> this is it. The whole thing has now been coated and it's looking really great. Very, very happy with the results of this. Very happy with the Avalon King product. 
So how much of this product did I actually use on the entire truck? Well, there's a line here where you could see inside the material, it's down to here. It, it literally was only from the cap down here. I would say probably a quarter, not very much at all. Very, very surprised that I could go through very, very little in order to coat this truck according to their instructions. And another piece of the kit, which I found quite interesting, this microfiber towel that's extremely fuzzy. The more you wipe the vehicle as you're going around, you start over there, come around the other side. We noticed that there were tiny pieces of microfiber that seemed to stick to the vehicle as you're trying to take off material. So this may be slowly just starting to, to shed a little bit of microfiber, and that's typical of microfiber towels. I'm not sure if I could actually throw this in the wash and reuse it again, and the same goes with the applicator suede. I don't know, so I'm gonna definitely have to check that out, but this is one of the things that I expected to last a little bit longer than it did before it started to shed material. And in order to make it more affordable for you to own this kit, there's a link in the description below to the video of Normal Guy Supercar. He has gone ahead and gotten a code from Avalon King that will save you a bunch of money when you order your kit. So, so that wraps up the application process for this ceramic coat by Avalon King. I'm very happy with the product. It was super easy to apply and Rebecca was taking off the Avalon King after it sat there for about two minutes. Was that pretty easy too? It was. Awesome. I mean, we spent a lot of hours over the past week doing the paint correction on this vehicle. Link in the description for that so you can look at the entire process. That took a lot of time. But this paint was prepped and ready to go, and it was very easy to apply this product. I'm very happy with it. I'm going to continue to keep it clean as they recommend, and we'll see just how it performs. So updates will be in the description below. So if you liked today's video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications as I'll be posting more how-to content more often on this channel. Thanks for watching and happy motoring.